listen to my story. This may be our last chance. feeling great as ever thanks yeah we're cheering for you I I've been a, a big fan of yours from the very beginning I won't let you down thanks can I have your autograph of course Nothing to worry about. Oh, if I score a goal, I'll uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> what seat? East block in the front row! Fifth from the right! Got it. Cheer for me. Two, three. She just had a blitz. Hey, I, I got a game to play. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight. Um, well, you can't tonight. I mean tomorrow. Promise. Promise. shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, Jacked, gone, vanished into thin air. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa, <laughs> didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, 
Ten years later, the Jack Memorial Cup tournament is today. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Abes from A East and the Duggles from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today to see the star of the Abes. In just one year, he's become the team's number one player. He's Jack's blood and the new hope of Blitzball. What kind of super play will he show us today? Will we see his father's legendary shot? I don't think I'm the only one excited here, folks. Make way, make way! Coming through, sorry. Hey, I'm gonna be late. Hey, let go of me! It begins. What? Don't cry. Hey, 
Not this way. Look. ones don't matter. We cut through. Don't bother going after all of them. Cut the ones that matter and run.
What are you laughing at, old man? Lauren, let's get out of here. We're expected. Huh? Give me a break, man. I thought about a lot of things, like where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel lightheaded, and then sleepy. I think I had a dream, a dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me, so I didn't have to feel alone anymore.
Anybody there? Aaron! Hey! Thank you.
had made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. need food. What do, what do you, you want? want? It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. You came to say that? It's been ten years. <sighs> I thought you'd be crying. Who? Who? Me? You, you cried. cried.
you on my side? Cool! Kid, get die job. Hey, that hurts. Musujek, rain. Whoa. Okay. Kainis. Right. Whatever. Do we hood kebeg? I said I don't understand. Fed! He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You... you understand me? All right, I'll work. Sujait! Kadufun et damo!
We found some ancient ruins right beneath us. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. We're gonna go down there and activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get to work. Roger.
Futra Ersche! Trada Lukt van der Neck. Hoof, proof to Tungadim. We, Wichetta! Hey! Hey, I helped out, didn't I? <laughs> you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. Um... Who are you guys, anyway? We're out bed. Can't you tell? Wait, you're not an out bed hater, are you? I don't even know what an Albed is. Where are you from? Xanarkin. I'm a Blitzball player. <clears throat> Star player of the Xanarkin Abes. Did you hit your head or something? Um, you guys hit me? Oh, right. Do you remember anything before that? So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Did I say something funny? You were near Sin. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. You'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when Sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah. There is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So, no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? What, what, what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkin. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! You said... You play Blitzball? Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh. Huh. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. 
You'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Oh, and one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh-huh. My Xanarkand? Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! Ball. Hey, you okay? Hey! Time. Finally, things were starting to look up. You know amateur. Who you play for? The Xanarkin Abes. Say again. Uh, I meant forget that. 
Uh, I got too, uh, close to sin, and my head's all foggy-like. So, uh, I don't know where this place is. Or even where I came from. Sin's toxin got to you. But you're still alive. Praise be to Yevon. All right, back to practice. I'm Waka, coach and captain of the Besaid Orox, brother. <laughs> oh. What? You hungry? Okay, back to the village. I'll get you something. I felt like I could trust this Waka, so I just had to ask. Um, it's true Xanarkin was destroyed, right? A thousand years ago? So it's just a big pile of rubble now, isn't it? Long time ago, there were a whole lot of cities in Spira. Big cities with machina, machines to run them. People played all day and let the machina do the work. And then... Well, take a look. Sin came and destroyed the Machina cities. And Xanarkand along with him. Yeah, that was about a thousand years ago. Just like you said. If you ask me, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand. What gets me, though, is we gotta suffer because of what some goofballs did way back when. Of course, we must always repent for our sins. That's important. It's just that it's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? It was just as Riku said. Waka and Riku couldn't both be lying. Why would they? <laughs> but you from the Xanarkan Daves, that was a good one, huh? Hey, I'm not saying the team never existed, yeah? <laughs> but you gotta figure, a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? I appreciated the fact that Waka was trying to cheer me up. But at that time, all I could think about was... Everything that happened to me, all this, started with Sin. Maybe if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. For now, I'd just live life until that time came. No more worrying about where or when I was. Sure, it was hard not to think of home, but I started to feel better already. A little better, maybe.
<laughs> Let me go. Got a favor to ask you. You want me on your team, right? Mm hmm? Major Blitz tournaments coming up. All the teams in Spear will be there. It's so huge, I'm sure someone there will recognize you. Then you can go back to your old team, right? It'll be fun. What do you say, huh? Come on, come on. Sure thing. Dude, our team is gonna rock, eh? I thought then that Blitzball and Sin were the only two things that Spira and Xanarkin had in common. I wasn't too far off, either. This is where I was born. I started Blitz when I was five. I joined the Aurochs at 13, 10 years ago. 10 years, and we never won a game. Well, after last year's tournament, I quit. Time seemed right. So, after quitting, I got this new job, yeah? But every time my mind wandered, I thought about the game. Ten years without a single win will do that. Mm. My first match last year was my big chance. But something else was on my mind. I couldn't focus. Nice excuse. Hey, hey! So, you want to win the next tournament? Go out with a bang. So, what's our goal? I don't care how we do. Long as we play our best. If we give it our all, I can walk away happy. Uh, no, 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 no. If I say what's our goal, you say victory. When you play in a blitzball tournament, you play to win. Victory? You're serious? One from the sea. Be on guard. There are fiends on the road today. After surviving your run-in with Sin, it would be a shame if something happened now. Who are they? Luzu and Gata, Crusaders. Huh? Cruise of what? What? You forgot that too? Hey, sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll help you out. Cool. In return, come tournament time, I'll make sure we take the cup. Cool. About the Crusaders, you can ask them yourself. They got a lodge in the village. He saved village. They got any food there? We'll get you something over there later. Take a look around first. Let's see. The Crusaders Lodge is over yonder. Luzu and Gata are usually there. Hmm. All right. Over here. Huh? What's up? You do remember the prayer, right? I didn't know it in the first place, to tell the truth. Man, that's like the basics of the basics. All right, I'll show you. Go ahead, you try. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. 
Okay, now, go present yourself to the temple summoner. Any Blitzball player would know that prayer. It was the Blitzball sign for victory. Go present yourself to the temple summoner before we eat, yeah? Hey, you! You were attacked by Sin, right? Recently, was it? I think so. So, Sin can't be far, right? You're not hiding anything, are you? Why would I? If Sin's nearby, it'll attack the island for sure. But it hasn't. I wonder why. I'm sorry. I really don't know anything. To tell the truth, I uh, don't even know what the Crusaders are. You're kidding, right? Sin. Toxin. Gotta tell him who we are. Yes, sir! The Crusaders are sworn to battle sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. The hero Meehan formed the Crusaders 800 years ago as the Crimson Blades. Later, our ranks grew and we called ourselves the Crusaders. We've been fighting sin ever since. What? You've been fighting 800 years and you still haven't beat it? Well, we've steered Sin away from towns many times. And that's all we can do. Nobody's ever been able to defeat it. Our mission as Crusaders is to protect the temples, towns, villages, and people of Spira. So, then whose job is it to defeat Sin? Is Sin's toxin really this bad, sir? It does seem rather bad. We could just tell you, but I think it better for you to try and remember. Go pray at the temple. Perhaps Yevon will help you regain your memory.
It was then, standing in that place. I began to realize how different this world was from my own. Ten years have passed since Lord Braska became High Summoner. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Well, what's a High Summoner? <gasps> uh, I, I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. It was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny, and a little sad. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art, sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. So what he meant was that we should respect some kind of great men or something like that, I figured. Sorry, man. No time for lunch yet. Take a nap. You look pushed. You could at least go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been nearly... But it's, but it's been, been nearly... It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People are searching for him now. Thank you. Who cares whether he comes back or not? But he might die. Fine, let him. Do you? Do you hate him so? But if he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. Is something wrong? 
The summoner hasn't returned from the trial. Huh? Well, apprentice summoner, really. Huh? There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the apprentice becomes a fully-fledged summoner. Remember? Uh, so someone is in there somewhere, and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. A day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed! Like I care! Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. It's a tradition, very important. So what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? Oh, 
Whoa! Ah! Someone has gone on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. The Guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse, and who knows what the other's thinking. Well, now that we've come this far, might as well go all the way. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it? No, it's, uh, it's just... See, I told you she gets mad easy. I is the summoner all right? <sighs> Who are you? Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. I remember that night we talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed for everyone, 
for me. Let me introduce you to the team. This guy here wants into the tournament so bad, I let him on the team. His memory's a little fuzzy, so don't mind him if he says anything odd. Come on, say hi. Uh, hi guys. Hi. So what's our goal? To do our best! <laughs> nope, we got a new goal now. Our new goal is victory! To win every match, defeat every opposing team, to bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? Huh? Sure got the boys worked up, huh? You heathen! Stay away from the summoner! You're a bad man! Lady Yuna, be careful. But it was really my fault to begin with. Oh. 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 I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... wasn't I not supposed to... guess I kind of overreacted. Oh, no. I was overconfident. Um... I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? Lady Yuna, come play with me some more. So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? We can talk more. Huh. You can tell me all about Xanarkind. She's cute, yeah? Don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? That's not going to happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. Hmm, ready for bed. Good, sleep tight. Where's that boat? Everyone will find us if it doesn't come soon. You really sure this is okay? Would you take me to Xanarkand? Hey! You said you'd go with me! No, oh, hey, I, uh... I thought Waka told you not to get any ideas. He did? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you're coming with me. Hey, stop dreaming! You with a woman? You can't even catch a ball! Oh, what's the matter? 
gonna cry again. Cry, cry. That's the only thing you're good for. I hate you. Huh? What'd you say? You have to speak loudly. I hate you! Huh? That's the spirit. You can do it. I hate you! He's dead, okay? Dead. He does look a lot like Chapu. I was surprised, too, the first time I saw him. But no matter what he looks like, he isn't Chapu. You shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Yeah, but he needed our help. Excuses again? Yeah, but... That's it. No more. Enough, Waka. So, who's Chapu? My little brother, Chapu. He looked like you. He's dead? He was with the Crusaders when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. I became a guardian to fight sin, yeah? Revenge, then? That was the idea. <laughs> I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you, but I'm not. Don't worry. I mean, I owe you a lot. You really... Help me out, you know? What I mean is... Thanks, Waka. <laughs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. Sleepyhead, something I want to give you. Whoa, you're giving this to me? Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago. When the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. You really don't need all that luggage. Uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, you know. I guess... I guess you're right. Okay, off we go. with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. A flash! 
liar. My kind of customer. Magic of an element they don't like. Magic? Element? Let's have our black mage show you what I mean. Lou, you're up. Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. Spells of ice work well against fire fiends. And ice fiends are weak against fire magic. You follow? I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. This one here is a water fiend, which means... Take your time. Let's get going, man. We're gonna wait. Huh? Are you ready? What's going on? It's an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat. That should do it.
That's enough. Ugh, what's with that guy? Kimari Ronso, of the Ronso tribe. He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. He's another Yuna's guardian. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kamari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. Hmm. Huh. Right? True, true. But, uh, why don't we let our summoner show us what she's made of? Your first real battle. Let's see some style. Show us what your training has taught you, Yuna. Okay. one of those. No problem. Leave this one to me, huh? Say good night, buddy.
Goodbye. Come to think of it, I haven't told you where we're going. First to Kirika Island. Then we change boats and head for Luca. For that though, Yuna's gotta pray at the temple. I'll be guarding. We'll be praying for the Aurochs victory too, so you come along, yeah? <sighs> great plan. Hey, it is a great plan. Don't look at me. I don't know who you are, or where you came from. you're wearing. Yeah! Filthy, filthy. These won't sell. All me name's not a waka. Don't look like you got much money, either. I've no business with you. Out of me way! Who do you think you are? A waka the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire. A waka the who? Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. But someday, the name of Walker will be spoken all over Spira. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of gill to lend. Eh, uh, it figures. I'm not at liberty to talk about our plan. Restricted area. Our operation depends on this cargo. Is that what, what the heck is what what is this place the power room like it says on the door yeah but why the big birds what's so strange about chocobo power chocobos those are chocobos what you've never seen a chocobo what kind of backwater island did you come from anyway hmm 
Miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. La 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 That summoner's got noble blood. I heard she's Lord Braska's daughter. You don't say. Lord Braska's daughter? Hmm. So, is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. It's tough <sighs> when your father's famous. Huh? Walker's a bit lacking in the imagination department. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. Braska's daughter? She just might have a chance. We'll get her to Kilika, we will. She does have a name, you know. Yuna. Hmm, Lady Yuna. Well then, we pray for Lady Yuna's safe passage. The wind, it's nice. Mm. player, aren't you? From Xanarkin, right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? Mm-hmm. Huh. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. <laughs> but I believe you. Huh? I've heard in Xanarkin there is a great stadium all lit up even at night. Huh? Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. Jack. Jack. My father. His name is Jack. <gasps> Amazing! Hmm. You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Mm. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? My old man, he died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. I I'm sorry. 
He went out to sea for training one day and never came back. And no one's seen him since then. Why, that's the day that Jekt came to Spira. But, uh... It's true, I first met Jekt ten years and three months ago. I remember that was the day my father left. The date fits, doesn't it? The... the... <laughs> yeah, but how would he get here? You're here? Are you not?
When Sin attacks Anarkin that day, I woke up in Spira. I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. I was just fooling myself. Maybe it was that day, on the sea, under the burning sun. I started to give up hope. I was in a foreign world. I wasn't going home. This was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. Summoner Yuna. I have come from the temple and be saved. Oh, Milady Summoner! If there is no other summoner here, please allow me to perform the sending. Ah, thanks, BT. Our loved ones. We feared they would become fiends. Please, take me to them. We'll go see what we can do to help in town. Ending. Are we going somewhere? <sighs> you truly are clueless. Are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem? The dead need guidance. Filled with grief over their own death, they refuse to face their fate. They yearn to live on and resent those still alive. You see, they envy the living. And in time, that envy turns to anger, even hate. Should these souls remain in Spira, they become fiends that prey on the living. Sad, isn't it? The sending takes them to the far plane, where they may rest in peace. Summoners do this? Hmm.
It must be tough, being a summoner. Yuna chose her own path. She knew from the beginning what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way, until the end. Until the end? What's the end? <sighs> until she defeats Sin. Oh. I hope... I hope I did okay. <sighs> you did very well. They've reached the far plane by now, but no tears next time, mm -hmm. uh. I wished there would never be a next time. No more people being killed by sin. No more sendings for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. is waiting for you. Yeah. Be Aurochs, hold off. On to the temple, where we pray for victory. Go! High Summoner O'Holland used to live in the Kilika Temple here. Yep, Lord O'Holland was once a great blitzer, you know. Waka. Hmm? Praying for victory is all good. Ugh. But is this right? Something wrong with enjoying Blitzball? Is this really the time? This is the only time. 
The players fight with all their strength. The fans cheer for their favorite team. They forget pain, suffering. Only the game matters. That's why Blitz has been around for so long. At least that's what I think. Whatever you say. Let's play and win, right? Right. Temple's beyond the jungle there. Let's go. What's up? Yuna is saying she wants you with us. Huh? I want to ask you to be my guardian. You know what? There's no time for jokes, yeah? He may be a blitzball whiz kid, but up against fiends, he's a newbie. Not a guardian, then. I just want him nearby. Well. What? What do you mean? It's just that, well, we're all going to the temple anyway. Can't this wait till later? Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. There's nothing to be sorry about. I'm just not really sure what's going on. My apologies. Why don't you use Lancet on it? What's a Lancet? Normally, it's a skill that weakens enemies and heals the user. But when a Ronso uses it, that Ronso can sometimes learn Fiend's abilities. Hey, sounds cool!
a summoner and her guardians. Very impressive. Sir, we should fight too. We'll get our chance soon enough. Young crusaders gather around. We'll be sitting into the ground. Do your best, kid. Waka's counting on you. Hey! After the tournament, you should join the Crusaders. Take care of those alone, huh? Booyah! Piece of cake! Let's end this. Burn.
newbie here. Sorry. Anyone thirsty? These stone steps have a history, you know. Yep, Lord O'Holland trained here at his peak. <laughs> a race, huh? Mm. <clears throat> Think you can beat me? <laughs> Yuna, if you would. Uh, ready! <laughs> hey! Hey! Ah, huh? Hey! <laughs> Kids.
Yeesh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hope to break you in a little slower. B b being a guardian's tiring. You handle yourself pretty well. You got talent. Hey. So, what are these sin spawn anyway? Fiends. They fall from Sin's body and are left behind in its wake. Leave him alone and Sin comes back for him. You gotta be quick. That moment when Waka told me I had talent in battle. I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian. So, uh, they got fiends in Xanarkand, too. Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. Uh, hey, since one of you believe me about Xanarkand anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? You make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jet, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. It's pointless to think about it. And sad. I... I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. You here to pray for victory too? Us pray? Who needs to pray? The Luka goers always win. Oh yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? This time we play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. See you in the finals! We'll beat them. We have to. You know that, team? Putting people down. They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jekt was a kind and gentle man. Well, not my Jekt. Uh... Even ten years after he left. Just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... Nah. nah.
please, let Waka's prayers be heard. I think Waka needs to do a little more praying. Lord O'Holland, guide our feet. A summoner, are you? My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna? So, you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> my, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor, even more so than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartella, we're leaving. A guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? What's she smiling about? Faith is below. Let's do it! The Faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. No! Oh. Ah! Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um... We'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. Yuna. Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! Ah, let me go! Go! Hey, what's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? This is bad. Really bad. Only guardians allowed. And I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now.
Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big muscle head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Oh. Just wait. So what's in there anyway? The faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat Sin. Something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Are... are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> ah!
Off to Luca at last. The matches start soon as we get there. So rest up on the way, yeah? Some people can be so rude. It might not mean much, but good luck in the tournament. Best to let him sleep. They ask a fortune for rags in Beside and Kilika. Well, me business is in shambles. What's an Oaka to do, I ask ye? What y'all talking about? Who are you supposed to be? Ah, I remember him. Guy from Kilika. Huh? You know, one of the Besaid Aurochs said something about winning the cup. Oh, right. You're that idiot. 
Don't call him that. But he is an idiot. They don't got what it takes to win the cup. Well, they do now that I'm here. Yes, they will win. He used to be the star player of the Xanarkand Abes. <laughs> yeah, as if anyone lived in those ruins. It's not ruins. There's a big city there. There is. Uh... I, uh, got too close to sin, and... There is a city, really. Right, whatever your ladyship says. What's wrong? You seemed kind of mad back there. They were being rude, and... Uh, I do believe your Xanarkand exists. I really do, you know? How come? Sir Jack used to always tell me stories. It'd be great to see your home someday. I'd love to go there. Yeah. So, Yuna, want to come over to my place? Right. Sure. As if I had a place to show her. something you'll take responsibility relax he's bound to know someone in Luca and if not he could always join a blitz team anyhow it's better than just leaving him and be saved what just leaving him in Luca what do you want me to do you know wants to make him a guardian oh yeah geez there's that too eh and whose fault is that not mine! It is mine, huh? Why do you think she wants to make him a guardian anyway? Because he's Sir Jack's son. All right. Wait, you sure about that? He's really Sir Jack's son. It's hard to say, but Yuna seems to believe so. Okay. 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 That's all you have to say? Well, yeah, I mean, he's got to decide for himself, yeah? Well, him and Yuna, I guess. You're right, for once. <clears throat> I wonder which is best. Why don't you tell him he should? Should what? Become Yuna's guardian. Why me? Because Yuna can't. Why not? He hates his father. What he was, what he did. Do you really think she can possibly say to him, I want you to be my guardian, like your father was to mine? And you're being oversensitive. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll try talking to him after the tournament. Be discreet. I know. It's his decision. He doesn't like his father. Apparently, he told Yuna as much. Hating your own father, huh? Sounds like a luxury to me. I don't even remember my parents. Can't say how I feel about them. I... I was five then, so I remember mine a little. Damn it! Hmm? Sin just takes everything away from us. I'm sorry. I need some time to think. 
Go to bed, bud. Tournament starts tomorrow morning. Someone's bound to recognize you when they see your moves out there, huh? Well, well, trying to follow in my footsteps, are you? I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. You can't do it, kid. But don't worry, my boy. You're not the only one. No, no one else, else can, can do it. it. I'm, I'm the, the best. best. You're out of your no one else. You know what else you can't. You're out of your you can't do it, kid. You can't do it. You're out of your no one else. You're out of your no one else. You can't do it, kid. You can't do it. The best. Yeah, right. What's that called? Doesn't have a name. Anyone can do it if they try. Show us one more time, yeah? I knew it! I knew you were something special! That was the Jekt shot, wasn't it? Uh... How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jekt showed it to me when I was a child. He, he called it the Sublimely Magnificent Jekt Shot Mark III. Huh. Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. I used to get so mad. Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But Sir Jekt was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. So if anything happened to him, 
I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put Mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous, too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Show me that move again. Yo! I didn't think my old man would come to Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was going to happen. And these feelings of mine are usually right. Sure, I had told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. this year. Exciting, isn't it, folks? Our next team off the ramp is... Well, well, well. If it isn't, the Basaid Aurochs. They're a living, breathing, statistical impossibility. I've never seen a team this bad. That's right. In 23 years, they've never made it past the first round. Only a few die-hard fans are in the audience today. Best of luck to them and a safe journey back to Bisset. Right, Jim. Moving right along, our next team is... Here they are, folks. Our very own Luca Goers. They've got power, they've got speed, they've got teamwork. They're an all-round first-class team, and they're back home in Luka. Without a doubt, they are the favorite this year, Baba. And after the way they dominated last year, it'd take a miracle for them to lose today. You can say that again, Jenna. Look at the crowd, folks. Look at the crowd. Looks like all of Luka has turned out to cheer the goers on. They know, I know, and you know, folks. The Luca Goers are number one. Yeah, it's like this every year, yeah? Don't let it bother you.
Stop right there, goers! You guys are smiling now, but not for long! Cause this year, us Aurochs are taking the cup! <laughs> what in Yevon's name were you doing up there? We sure stood out, though. We were on the sphere. We were? Maester Micah is here. Already? The number three dot. What's up now? Maester Micah has arrived, that's what. Micah? Maester? Maester Micah is the leader of all the peoples of Spira. He's come all the way from Bavel. The tournament is being held to honor his 50 years as Maester. 50 years? Shouldn't he be, uh, retired by now? Hey, mind your mouth now. Let's all go see him. Can't see a thing. That's a guado, right? Who could it be? Isn't that Maester Seymour? People of Spira, I thank you for your generous welcome. Rise, Maester Seymour, and all of you as well. I present to you the son of Maester Jiskel Guado, who departed for the far plain of Fort Night Pass. As some of you already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as Maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. You too, bow your head. Sakes you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Hustle! Where's Waka? That the matchup draws. We had to play the Gores in the first match last year. 
the year before that, and the one before that, too. Well, we would have lost to anyone anyway. Captain Walker! <laughs> we're playing the Albed Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. That's right, we got seeded. Two wins, and we're the champions. First things first, let's go over the basics again, boys. said they saw Sir Oren in a cafe. Uh, Oren? Yes, Sir Oren. Let's go find him. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! The game starts, like, real soon. You come back quick, yeah? Hey, I'll be back. Yeah, okay. Hey, Waka, you're stiff, man. <clears throat> no, no, not your face. Yeah. Just breathe out, relax. Okay. Like this. <clears throat> Just breathe, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Maybe now we can find Sir Jack. Huh? How? Sir Oren was also my father's guardian. So, he might know where Sir Jekt is. Let's go now. It didn't even occur to me to think that the Aran Yuna was talking about, and the one that I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I don't know why, but I knew it was the same guy. I knew it was the same Aran. Imito Sumana. Vasit Nabund. Hey! Albed Sykes, right? Some Albed saved me the other day, and... This girl, Riku, gave me food, and... Uh... <laughs> you don't understand me, do you? Uh... Uh, anyway... If you meet Riku, tell her thanks for me! Oh, and as for the first game... May the best team win. The stores in the stadium are closed during the tournament, but I'm always acting for business. 
The people here are so into the game they don't even look at what they're buying. Gotta love Blitz, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry. Please let me through. Hey, let's go. You're really famous. We don't get separated. Yuna! Huh? Hmm? What was that? <laughs> In Xanarkin, we do this to cheer on Blitz players. You try it too. Put your fingers in your mouth like this. Like this? Uh-uh. Not like that. This. Uh, then, you just blow. It's not working. Practice. Okay. Uh, hey, use that if we get separated. Then, I'll come running, okay? <laughs> well, guess we should just stick together then. Until you can do it. Yes, sir.
Wow! This is a pretty big town. Luca is the second largest city in Spira. I thought every town was little, you know, like Besaid and Kilika. Towns don't usually get bigger than that. Because when a lot of people start to gather... Sin? Hmm. What about Luca? It's safe here? It's not any different, but the stadium is here. The Crusaders fight to protect it with all their strength. They protect the stadium? Blitzball is really the only entertainment that we have. Spira's a little short on fun these days. Whoa. Talk about pressure. <laughs> That's right. Is Xanarkand like this too? Hmm. Well, there are more buildings, all tall ones, and cramped together. Oh. They must be so tall. Don't you ever get dizzy? <laughs> Find Sir Oren. doing here? The tournament's about to start. I'm looking for someone. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. There aren't many people here. Everyone's either at the stadium or watching the game on the sphere. They love their blitz ball. Aren't you gonna watch? We'd like to, but we're waiting for some couriers. Hmm, they're late. Want to ditch the courier and go watch the game? But... But we're still on duty. What about the mission, sir? Ah. Uh, see what I mean? We might be a little late, but we will go watch you play. You better be winning when we get there. Uh, yes, sir. Oren's not here. Hmm. <gasps> Why not talk, Kimari? Not see Yenke for ten years. Say something. Kimari forget Yenke? Forget Biran? 
Leave Kimari, Yankee. Kimari is small, Ranzo. Kimari so small, can't see Yankee and Biran's faces. <laughs> Kimari forget, Ranzo friends? We taught you much at time of Hornmund. Biran taught Kimari to be strong, Ronzo. Maybe taught too much. Take him on. <laughs> oh! Take it outside. The tournament's starting, you hear? That's the game. Today, on this glorious day, players from all over Spira have assembled here to participate in this great contest of bravery, skill, and strength. All of these fine teams, equally renowned, deserve to win the cup today. Such is the nature of this contest. Let us, the spectators, play our role accordingly. Let us sing to the glory of the winners and applaud equally the valor of the defeated. Contestants, may heaven be with you. Yuna's gone! Where in Spira have you been? Huh? Yuna's been kidnapped by the Albed Sykes. In exchange for her safe return, they want the Aurochs to lose. What? If they're only Blitzball players, I doubt they'd do anything drastic. But we shouldn't take chances. Let's go get her. I'm going too. This will be no problem. They're telling the Aurochs to throw the game, as if they needed to. I mean, how good a team can they be? Waka said the same thing. He'll take care of the game. We should go get Yuna. The Albed boat is in Dock 4. Let's go. Salvaged by the Albed. They are mostly vulnerable to lightning.
What's up with these guys? are keeping the score tied with some excellent defense, folks. Oh, he'll feel that one in the morning. Ah, but the referee doesn't call the foul. Waka's taking a real beating out there. Huh. Still in there. He won't last. Waka's always like that. Ouch! Let's go. Let's go. I hope you hurt them. A little. What is it? 
There were these Albed that saved my life when I first came to Spira. They took me on their ship, and even gave me food. I was kind of hoping that this was the same ship, but it's not. I wonder if they're all gone. What happened? Sin came up near us. I made it out okay, but I don't know what happened to their ship. Um, was there anyone called Sid on that ship? I don't know. They were all speaking that Al Bed language. I see. So who's Sid? He's my uncle, but I've never actually met him. Mm hmm. Wait. So that means you're all bed too, Yuna? On my mother's side, yes. Sid is my mother's brother. He became distant after my mother married. But she told me to seek him out if I ever needed help. You're worried he was. Don't tell Waka about Yuna's lineage. The thing about Waka, he never had much love for the Albed. Whoa! I, I gotta tell Waka! I thought I told you not to tell Waka. The game! Oh! Chapu, he'd still be standing. Hey, aren't you being just a little unfair? Excuse me? I know I could never take Chapu's place. You're the one who told Waka that, right, Lulu? And I don't think Waka would ever try to take Chapu's... You don't want to finish that sentence. Right, Captain. The game starts in a few minutes. You sure you okay? We're playing the gores too. <clears throat> Miss me? Lady Yuna, are you okay? All this because of me. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, how can you let some outbed kidnap you? Hey, let it go, all right? Don't go near outbed anymore, okay? They're trouble. <laughs>
Please, don't tell anyone about Yuna's lineage. Game starts soon. No time for warm ups. Ready? Let me at him. All right. I got something to tell you, boys. After this game, I'm retiring. I promised myself this would be my last tournament. Win or lose, I'm quitting Blitzball. But you know, since we're here, we might as well win. Yeah! Uh, am I in the bench? <sighs> I'm warming the bench. He's taking my place. All right, boys, let's win this one. Let's make the goers goners. Let's play it. <gasps> I saw you floating there on the sphere. Oh. Hey, you weren't supposed to see that. Oh. <sighs> You really gave it your all, didn't you? All right, boys, what are we gonna do? Win! For Captain Walker. This is it, folks. In just a few minutes, the championship game. But who could have imagined? A championship game between these two teams. Our legendary Luca Goers going against the horrendously ill-fated Basaid Aurox. This looks like history in the making, Baba.
are just playing great, Baba. Really great. Everyone seems to be calling for Waka, folks. Say, where is that player going? He's leaving the sphere pool. He may be injured. To be honest, I did kind of feel left out, but it really was the Oryx and Waka show after all. I wonder what's happening. The crowd is going wild. Ah, oh, it's 
Waka. He's back on the field and ready to go. The Aurochs seem glad to have him back.
What's happening? Guardian there ever was. You're really leaving, Captain? Shouldn't you heal up first? Yuna needs me with her now. I can't be lying around in some bed. Yeah, but... Come on, look sharp! The Blitz season just started. Don't make those faces, yeah?
Well, see ya, boys. You be good. Captain. I can't hear you. Captain! Are you sure? Never liked long goodbyes anyway. Sorry for making you wait, Yuna. I have some promises to keep, yeah? From now on, I'm your full-time guardian. Then welcome back, Sir Waka. Good to have you with us. Hey. It's good to be back, yeah? So, any news on what happened? Not really. We don't know where the fiends came from. Maester Micah is safe and sound, thanks to Maester Seymour. That's about it. Maester Seymour's Aeon, it was so powerful. Hey you, don't just stand there! All of this is your fault! Getting swallowed by sin, ending up here in Spira, not being able to go back to Xanark, and everything, everything! I'm telling you, it's all your fault! <laughs> Who are you, anyway? You knew my old man, didn't you? Yeah. And you also knew Yuna's father? That's correct. Hey man, there's no way. That's just impossible. Nothing impossible about it. Jacked, Roska, and I, together we defeated Sin ten years ago. Then I went to Xanarkand, where I watched over you, so that one day I could bring you to Spira. Why did it have to be me? Jekt asked me to. Is he alive? It depends on what you mean by alive. He is no longer human. But then, I felt something of Jekt there in that shell, couldn't you? You must have felt him when you came in contact with Sin. It can't be. It is. Sin is checked. Uh, no, that's ridiculous! No way! I don't believe you! But it is the truth. You'll see for yourself. Come with me. If I say no? Every story must have an ending. Now I don't care about your stories! I see. Sorry you feel that way. Fine then. Come or don't come, it's your decision. What am I supposed to say? You tell me it's my decision! But I don't have a choice, do I? You're the only one who can tell me what's going on anyways! I have to go with you, I have to! Irritating, I know. Or are you afraid? go home? Back to Xanarkand? That's up to Jekt. I'm going to offer my services to Yuna. Come.
You think he's gonna stay here? Sir Oren knows him, apparently. You were right. He did meet someone he knew. Do you think he'll find a way back to Xanarkand? In any case, I'll miss having him around. He's still in town, isn't he? I think I'll go see him. Oh! Whoa! Sir Oren! Yuna. Sir. I wish to become your guardian. Do you accept? Uh, You're serious? You refuse? No, no. We accept, right, everyone? Uh, of course. No problem at all. But why? I promised Braska. You promised my father? Thank you, Sir Oren. You're welcome to join us. And he comes too. Hi, guys. Uh, howdy. This one I promised Jekt. Is Sir Jekt alive? Can't say. Haven't seen him in ten years. I see. You'll meet eventually. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. What's our itinerary? Where are we headed? Hey, come with me. You're a real guardian now, so no mistakes. Understood? Would you meet Sir Auron anyway? Since Toxin sure is taking its time wearing off. Anyway, I knew you'd find someone you knew here. Remember, you're suffering from Sin's Toxin. Don't say otherwise. Hey, watch. <gasps> ah. Hey, you got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm, I really don't think that's going to help this time. You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in spirit depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah, I understand. I think. Right, now let's see what you can do. Huh? Come on. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is weird. Next, try laughing out loud. What? Come on, show me. Ha ha ha!
It was your idea. <laughs> um, thank you. Huh? I want my journey to be full of laughter. Okay. If we should get separated, just whistle. I'll come running. I promise. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's go. What are you looking at? We were just worried you guys might have gone crazy. Sorry. Well then, all right. Now, we will go to the temple at Jose. And guardians, don't forget to smile. This is a statue of Lord Meehan. Eight centuries ago, he founded a legion known today as the Crusaders. In just a few short years after their founding, their ranks grew throughout Spira. The Maesters of Yevon feared an uprising and accused them of rebellion. So Lord Meehan walked along this very road to go face their charges and refute them. 
He succeeded in winning the Maester's trust, and his legion became an arm of the Yevin clergy. It was then that Yevin gave them the name Crusaders, which they had kept ever since. And the rest is history. Ha! Huh. That one looks slow. It's also tough. Let me handle this. No way! I can take it! Ha! What the? Ya, Sir Arn's the best. <laughs> I could have done that. from some old city correct a city most ancient a terrible testament to sin's power i tremble every time i see them compared to sin humans are mere mud puppies but i believe humans are the only ones capable of defeating sin a good reply i am relieved to hear you say that milady summoner where are my manners? I am matron, a scholar, at your service, milady. I am on a journey, studying the history of our world, Spira, seeking its stories and secrets. My travels have taken me to many places, and I am troubled by what I have seen. Fragile smiles on people's faces, crumbling at the mere mention of sin. They are counting on you, milady. Give them a reason to rejoice once more. I will. Hey, I'm a guardian now, so watch out. I foresee no difficulty. Well then, what next? Need a good jolt? Lady Summoner, I presume. Yes, I am Yuna. I am Lucille, Captain of the Jose Chocobo Knights. And I'm Alma. We've been charged to guard the High Road. There have been reports of a large fiend appearing in this area with a taste for chocobos. Do take care, Summoner Yuna, if you are to rent any chocobos. Thank you. We will be careful. Good. We should get back to our rounds. Farewell. Our prayers are with you.
A large fiend? Hmm. Let's go get him! Why? It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> What'd I say now? Jekt said that a lot too. <laughs> and every time he said it, it meant trouble for Braska and me. <laughs> Thank you. Make way! This should be quick! Aid us. Careful! Sorry. Bring it on! Stay down! Let me help. with us. in the fray.
Guys, back on the field. I'm sorry. Don't break any bones, old man.
summoner party. Uh, you too are a summoner? My name is Belgamine. You are? My name is Yuna. Ah, the High Summoner's daughter. I've heard much of you. But you are still fresh on the road, are you not? Yes, I am. I might have a few things to teach you. Mm? Let us see which are stronger. My Aeons or yours? A one-on-one -on -one match. Not to the death, of course. What do you say? I'll do my best. Good. Before we begin... Your Aeons have been healed. You can fight with your full strength. Come. strong of a link you forge with your Aeons. That is enough. Not bad for one so young. I underestimated you. Take this. You've earned it. You show promise. With more training, you could defeat Sin. Thank you. But I think you might defeat Sin before I am able to. Cannot. Huh? Or should I say, I was not able to? You mean... Farewell, Yuna. We'll meet again. It is an honor, Sir Orin. Thanks.
Our prayers are with you. Nice to meet you, Callie. Lady Yuna, are you going to bring us the call? Yes. <laughs> Very soon. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're looking forward to another call, my Lady Summoner. I'll do my best. And good luck to your guardians as well. What's the calm? The calm is a time of peace. It comes after a summoner defeats Sin and lasts until Sin reappears. Uh... Huh? Sin dies and is reborn. I get it! I thought it was weird. Yuna's dad defeated Sin ten years ago, right? But Sin's still here. Didn't make much sense till now. Wait, if it just comes back... Don't say it isn't worth it. Because it is. Even for a little while, people can sleep in their beds without being afraid. That kind of time is worth anything. Don't say it isn't worth it. Your words that day, Yuna... I remember them well.
I foresee no difficulty. Let's give them all we got! Time to waste. Let's go. No time to waste. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
on the field. Yuna here. ends now. Let's see some hustle! My turn now! Sit back and watch. Well then, what next? Congratulations, Waka. Hey, stop loafing around. Uh, uh, the Lady Summoner and her guardians. This mission requires our full attention. We've no time to waste. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Apologies, ma'am. Carry on. See, keep your head down, say sir a lot, and you'll do fine. Right, sir. <laughs> hey, Yuna. Even though Yevon rejected us, we still believe in you. That won't ever change. Thank you, Sir Luzu, Sir Gada. But, you know, it's not too late for you to go back to Besaid and... We should be going, sir.
sin any way we can. But Yevon's teachings say... Enough! I... I, I only meant to... Are you alright? <gasps> Lady Summoner? Yes, I am Yuna. It is an honor, my lady. My name is Shalinda. I am a disciple of Yevon. What was all that about? The Crusaders' operation? <gasps> you mean the one Gata and Luzu were talking about? Mm. I heard they were to use Forbidden Machina. I had to stop them. Huh? Why? The use of Machina is strictly forbidden by the Yevon priesthood. That's bad, yeah? Let them use whatever they want. They still won't defeat Sin. But it's not about defeating Sin. The teachings of Yevon must be upheld. Yeah, right. But you don't understand. The Crusaders won't even listen to me. And it's all because I'm just a lowly acolyte. Don't say that. <sighs> well, I haven't been a summoner for very long myself, you see. Still, I can't put myself down every time I fail. People are depending on me. They're depending on both of us. Yes. Yes, you're right, my lady. Absolutely right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lady Yuna. Now, I feel I have the courage to finish my training. Here. But this isn't our bed shop. Is that a problem? They they don't believe in Yevon, and in Luca they they kidnapped Yuna. Where were her guardians? Oh. Sir Oren's just concerned about your health. I'm not tired one bit. Well, I am. As if I could sleep. Mr. Rin's shops are all over Spira. They are quite convenient when you're on the road. This might be the last time we can rest like this. I've heard 
heard that the proprietor, Mr. Rin, is in our bed. But I was very relieved to find that he keeps nothing sacrilegious here. That sunset was different from the one I saw in Kilika. It was quiet, almost gentle. What you up to? <laughs> Pretty. Sure is. I wish I could live in a place like this. Peaceful. Living with a smile on my face every day. You can, once you beat sin, right? <laughs> but then, a new sin will be born anyway. Well, then you can just beat it again. I wish I could. Hey, you can. Trust me, you are the best summoner out there. Yuna, why does sin always come back? Sin is our punishment for our vanity. And it will not go away until we've atoned. How do we do that? Mm. What did we do that was so bad in the first place? Ah. Was it using lots of machina or something? Oh. Wait, was that such a bad thing, really? Uh, it's funny. Hmm? Ever since I was young, I never questioned it. But now that you ask me if it is that bad or not, I don't know. There are so many things I don't know. Well, then we're the same. Such thinking is very unbecoming of a summoner. Sound like Micah? <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice, you know. You know, during a game, you have to think of Blitz and nothing else, you know? Okay. Mmm. Ah. Oh. You can't think, that's a cute girl in the fifth seat from the right. And you can't be thinking about where you're going to go on that date. Because the minute you do, that's when you lose. You see, uh, Yuna, what I mean is, you really shouldn't worry, you know? After we beat Sin, that's when you can worry about the future. I guess. But Yuna, how are you supposed to beat something big like that? The final summoning. It's the only way to defeat Sin. The only way. With it, we can call the final Aeon. That's the goal of the pilgrimage. The faith of the final summoning lies waiting in the far north to greet summoners that complete their pilgrimage. At the world's edge in Xanarkand. In Xanarkand? Uh, <sighs> she means the ruins of a city destroyed a thousand years ago. You sure it's ruins? That's what I've heard. You'll see it for yourself soon enough. 
Yuna, come back inside. You will go with us to Xanarkand? Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I'll go to Xanarkand to see it with my own eyes. I knew it couldn't be my Xanarkin, but I had to make sure. Sir. Sorry? Ah, forgive me, sir. I meant to say pardon me, but it came out in El Bed. Oh, you're in El Bed. Mm hmm. I am Rin, owner of this establishment. Hello, Dusadwi. Huh? It means nice to meet you. Ah, well, uh, Heli Dusadwi to you too. Mm hmm. If you are interested, Elbed primers can be found all over Spira. Finding them and learning our language might be fun. Here, let me give you one in commemoration of our meeting. Although you might want to be careful where you speak our language. Yeah, I hear Elbed aren't liked much. <laughs> Uh, sorry. <sighs> A decky Chrisa. Ah! Someone help! The Chocobos! That's our cue. Let's go. Huh? Oh, thank you for your help. Please, use this. Huh? to the Chocobo Corral.
Have you an interest in renting some chocobos? As a token of our gratitude, the first time is free of charge. Please, ask the attendant if you wish to rent. Thank you so much for saving the chocobos. No charge this time. Lucille and Elma should have been here by now. How many times do I have to tell you I'm a summoner? Sorry, ma'am. No exceptions. You dare impede a summoner's pilgrimage? Sorry, ma'am. No exceptions. Useless. of our operation here. You may ask the gate captain up ahead if you need to pass through. down to the old road was a mistake. You can't run a business with no customers. Say, can I interest you in something? Sure are a lot of crusaders about. I wonder what they're up to.
You have to leave your chocobos here. Come on, everyone off. Gotta and loser reporting, sir. This is the last of them. Good to have you with us. Go on through. Show me how to play Blitz sometime. Wait around. We'll have Sin beaten in no time. Any donation toward Operation Meehan would be greatly appreciated. Hey, you're a summoner and her guardians, right? Sorry for the inconvenience. What, they didn't tell you? We're bringing Sin Spawn from Oliver Spira here. Sin Spawn inevitably draws Sin, right? We're going to lure it into a trap. I'm sorry, I can't let you pass. Is there anything I can do? Well... I see. Maester Seymour, let me show you to the command center. Hold, I have a request. Yes, Your Grace. I need to have Summoner Yuna and her guardians let through to the command center. But, but Maester Seymour, Maester Seymour, sir. Do not worry. I will take full responsibility. Very well, they may pass. It is done. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. Yuna, it's time to go. Oh, right. Who does he think he is? He's a maester. Better get used to it, yeah? Mr. Seymour. Brave crusaders of Spira, protectors of all Spira. Believe in the path you have chosen. Let faith be your strength. I, Seymour Guado, Maester of Yevon, will bear witness to your deeds today. Sir! What's going on? Why is Maester Seymour back in the Crusaders, eh? They're using Albed's machina. They're violating the teachings. Even going against the teachings, they're willing to risk it for the greater good. Waka, I think Maester Seymour sees that too. <laughs> Lulu! Hmm. I can only speculate. Ask him yourself. Ah, Sir Oran, it is an honor. I would be most interested in hearing what you've been doing these past ten years. I've got nothing to say about it. I see. Sir Oran must be a great asset as a guardian. Your Grace! 
please. There's no need for formalities. Excuse me, Maester Seymour. Why is your lordship presently present here, sir? Please, speak as you normally would. Uh, isn't this operation against the teachings of Yevon? Aren't you gonna stop them? It's true. I should. Mm -mm. However, both the Crusaders and the Albed truly wish peace for Spira. This Operation Mihen was born from that wish they share. Although it may be sacrilege to Yevon, their intentions are pure. And I, Seymour Guado, the person, not the Maester of Yevon, as a denizen of Spira, I wish them well in their endeavor. But using Machina, that's bad, isn't it? Pretend you didn't see them. <gasps> Beg your pardon, but that's not something a maester should say. Then pretend I didn't say it. You're kidding. From the first time I laid eyes on him, I never did like Seymour. But you know, some of the things he said that day, they made a lot of sense to me.
Well then, what next? Excuse me, Lady Summoner Yuna? Yes. The command center. Maester Seymour requests your presence there, ma'am. Thank you. Take that road to the command center. It's not far. We're still in the midst of preparations this way. Sorry. Crusaders! <laughs> Sneak past the guards, I did. We making a fortune with Operation Nehem prices. But you, lad, you get a discount. I owe you my bag.
this ends now. Farewell. No time to waste. Let's go. No problem. Able to stop them, as you can see. But seeing their fierce determination, I couldn't just sit there. So I decided that I would do everything in my power to help them. Shall we do this?
The fiends here are tough. Let's end this. Lady Summoner, what are you doing here?
Allow me. Sir, I want to fight too. Orders are orders. I'm not a cadet anymore, sir. Let me go with you and I'll prove it to them. Guarding the command center is important too, you know. But I came all the way from Besaid to fight Sin, sir. I know, but an order's an order to your post crusader. Sir! They let you through, huh? Hmm. Gata deserves better. At least there's no chance he'll get hurt. Why are you guys fighting anyway? Aren't the almighty Albed Machina enough? They still need some time to get them ready. Our job is to keep Sin at bay till they're done. Waka. I might not get another chance to say this. It's about your brother. Luzu, no! What? I'm the one who convinced him to enlist. Mm. I'm sorry. That's enough, Walker! When we used to play Blitz together, Chapu used to say... He said that when we won the cup, yeah, he proposed to Lulu. And then one day, he goes off and becomes a crusader, just like that. Chapu also said to me that being with your girl is good. But keeping Sin far away from her is better.
knew. You knew? Luzu told me before we left. <laughs> she hit me too. All crusaders in the vanguard are to assemble on the beach. That's my cue. Luzu! Don't die out there! So you can hit me more? Lots, lots more! <sighs> Suluzu, please! Please don't go! I have to, Yuna. Let him go. The man has already chosen his path, as you did when you became a summoner. <sighs> it would be a long time before I ever really understood the reason why Yuna let Luzu pass that day. Sees. Ow! Ugh. He really hates them, huh? Chapu. He left the sword Waka gave him in Besaid. And he fought with an Albed Machina weapon instead. That's got nothing to do with it. I just hate these sacrilegious contraptions.
It won't work anyway. Don't say that. Mm. It might be a hopeless campaign. And it might mean defying Yevon. But the Crusaders and the Albed, they're doing their best to defeat Sin. They want to rid Spira of Sin forever. And that's just what we want too, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> all right, all right. But I still think Mac and I are bad news. They're forbidden for a reason. Lady Summoner, there you are. The command center is that way. Maester Keenock is also there. Maester Keenock too? Yes. Please, hurry, my lady. Monopoly is a great thing. Things are selling no matter what the price. Oops, sorry, I forgot. Welcome to Oaka's. The operation will begin shortly. Please check all your equipment. Mm. You all right? Of course not. I came here to fight Sin, but they stick me here. Mm. If you want to prove yourself. Huh? First, you must complete the tasks you are given. Just doing what they say, it just won't be enough. <sighs> You'd think the same if you were me. I'll do something, even if it means bending the rules. I've got to show Loser what I can do. Oh! I had heard from Seymour, but I didn't know if we'd actually meet. Good to see you, Oren. Ten years, is it? <laughs> That's Wen Kinok, one of the four maesters of Yevon. He leads the warrior monks, and also commands the Crusaders. All troops ready to move at your command, sir. Good. Dismissed. Sir! Tell me, Oren, where have you been the last ten years? We don't have time for this now, do we? This plan won't work. You know that. We'll just let them dream a little longer. What? Lord Keenock? Oh, yes. Proceed. That Keenock a maester? 
I heard that, Oren. A lot has happened in the last ten years. What were you doing and where? Fulfilling a promise I made to a friend. I still am. Just tell me one thing. Have you seen Xanarkand? <laughs> I kinda think we don't belong here. It is time at last. We must tell the Albed waiting outside to begin the operation at once. The fiends may break through. This place is not safe. Make sure you're prepared to defend yourselves. Tell me when you're ready. With them here, it's like Yevon authorizes this whole operation. to Yuna. Anything could happen. Make sure you're ready for combat. I'm a little nervous. Mr. Keenock, please. Will Sin come? Sin always returns for its spawn. To make sure, we're going to encourage them to call out to it. You won't have to. It'll come. I remembered Oren telling me. Sin is my old man. Sin is jacked.
stand back, Lady Yuna. Yes.
What's going on? Why? What? What's going on? are still too weak. But I must do something. You can't. idea what I was thinking when I ran after Sin that day. Before I knew what I was doing, there I was, chasing him down like a thief at market. Maybe I was angry. Maybe I wanted to go home. I kept thinking of Xanarkand and my old man. I can quit drinking whenever I want. Then do it now. What did you say? You just said you can't. <laughs> Tomorrow, maybe. Why not today? Why do today what you can leave for tomorrow? There he goes again, crying. I thought I sensed my old man there. Somewhere. Or maybe it was just Sin's toxin playing tricks on my mind. <sighs> How many died today? People die and Yuna dances. When will she stop dancing? When will it stop? Yuna won't stop dancing. Not until Sin is gone. Those were my thoughts then. I think. I see you're still here. Huh? Many stories ended here today. But yours goes on, I see. What?
Sin had come and gone, but I remained here. You were in contact with Sin again, the toxin. Are you okay? A swift retreat. Satisfied? What do you mean? Those who turned from Yevon died, while the faithful live on. Hmm. The past ten years have changed you, I see. You do not look so well. But now, more than ever, you must be the people's strength, their confidence. <laughs> Anyone else would be expected to show their sorrow. But you are a summoner. You are Spira's hope. Until sin is defeated, you must not relent. Do you understand? Yes. I understand. Are you afraid? Yuna, take me as your pillar of strength. As Yuna Leska had her Lord Zeon. <laughs> Lady Yuna, until next we meet, farewell. Sin is checked. Yeah. For a while there, I thought I could feel him. But that doesn't mean I believe you. Sin is checked. He came here for you. So he killed all those people just for a chance to see me? That's what Sin does. He wanted to show that to you. Do you know why? How am I supposed to know? So you would kill him. As long as he is Sin, Jekt will keep killing. He wants you to stop him. You gotta be kidding. How do you know all of this anyway? <laughs> I'm not done talking to you! Don't you run away! You're the one running. Cheerful. In dark times, she must be. She must shine bright. Huh? Now are dark times. Yuna tries hard. We should help her then. If we worry, she tries harder. Do not frown. Don't worry, be happy. Kimari, try too. Smile, let me see. Mm. Mm. Sad.
Need a light? So, how shall we do this?
longer till Xanarkand. Still a ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guado Salam. Then we cross the Thunder Plains to the temple of Makalania. Oh, boy. <laughs> and before that, we get to pray at the temple in Jose. We can't just skip all that. Can we? Huh? Mm -mm. I have to pray to the faith in every temple in order to earn the final Aeon. That's a summoner's training. She's got to prepare mind and body, all just to get ready for the final summoning. Hmm. Must be tough, Yuna. <laughs> I'll be fine with you here. Hey, new guy. Me? Who else? What can I do for you, boss? Don't tell Yuna you know about Sin and Jet. Huh? You know her. She would distance herself from you. We do not want that. I see. I think. Yeah, but even if I did say something, no one believed me, you know? Yuna would. Ah, you have a point. Come to think of it, did I really have to know about Jekt? What about my feelings? Better than you finding out at a critical moment, becoming emotional. What? Me? Emotional? <laughs> I heard you were quite the crybaby. Yeah, maybe when I was a kid. <laughs> maybe even a little now. Just a little. Hey, I still don't buy your story, you hear? to see you and your companions are well. Yourselves as well, Captain. We were worried. Praise be to Yevon. Oh. We escaped with our lives, but our troops were decimated. Of all our chocobos, only this one made it. We make pretty poor chocobo-mounted forces without chocobos. We turned our backs on the teachings and cast away our faith. This... This is our just reward. It's just you now, but don't worry, we're here for you. So many died in vain, it was a mistake. We should never have ignored the teachings. Is that the Jose Temple? Lightning Mushroom Rock. It only opens when a summoner is addressing the faith. That means another summoner's already in there. Another summoner? What if it's Donna? We have to hurry. Right! In we go! Stay here for a while. I've been thinking about the future. 
I would pray for those fallen in battle. But how? How can I enter the temple after what we have done? Luzu, he's... Where is he? I found him. But he was torn in half. I... That idiot. What? What do I do now? I can't do this. I'm going back to Bissay. So you're a champion of Yevon now, Braska? I beg your pardon, but may I ask your name? I am Summoner Yuna, from the Isle of Bisset. As I thought. The daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No, I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. I am Isaru. I am a summoner, like you. I'm Pase. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Since I was a child, I've always looked up to Lord Braska. I wished I would someday become a high summoner like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. I... I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? Oh, very well then. I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. You. Me? You are Yuna's guardian, no? Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? What? What? What y'all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? Please be careful. 
Will do. Passe! Oh, what? We're leaving! Be right there! See ya! The Cloister of Trials lies within. Are you prepared? All right, Guardians, at attention! We are ready. All right, let's do it.
Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. We wait here. You should try to settle down. Yuna will be blamed if anything happens. Well, well, you again. Still traveling with quite the crowd, I say. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are. Are it, no? What of it? Can I shake your hand? Arin. No, Sir Arin. You're the reason I became a guardian. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riffraff? And you call yourself a summoner? Yeesh. Bartello, enough. Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Eh? Sir Oren, too? And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own, as a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. No matter how dark the night, morning always comes, and our journey begins anew. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Donna has left. Isaru too. Get ready for the journey ahead. She was working until dawn, healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Okay, I guess I'll just let her sleep for now then. <sighs> ah, morning. What, morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. Oh, oh. Don't worry. It's okay. Yo, sleepyhead. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you, but with all that snoring. Uh, oh. mm. What is it today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> <laughs> Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized the only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. Off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. <sighs> you expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. Where to next? We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha. Moonflow, baby, here we come.
Today, everyone, we can all learn a lesson from what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. Training, huh? Let's see. Fell. That's how it's done. You need someone with magic skills. Thank <laughs> you. 
This ends now. Farewell. No time to waste. Let's go. Look! One of Kimari's friends looks just like him. What? Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! <laughs> you come to insult Kimari? Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear. Never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari! Lost his horn! Next lose his summoner! Pitiful Kimari! Howl alone! Howl alone! <laughs> Do those two... Uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari will deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But... Uh... It's Kimari's problem. He can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Oh. Confident. Yeah. Yeah? Who's next?
Misa King! We meet again. I heard you took part in Operation Meehan. You've seen that Machina aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. You are right. I must train harder. I can help with that, if you like. I propose a contest of aeons. A friendly contest, of course. I'm ready. That's the spirit. But before we begin... I have healed your aeons. Well, shall we? Whichever Aeon you want. Don't hold anything back. Show me what you've learned. That is enough. You're good. You bested me fairly. Here, your prize. Go on, take it. I look forward to meeting you again. Till next time, Yuna.
take you all on! Let's end this. This is the moon flow. These are moon lilies. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? Hey, I got an idea! We're not waiting till nightfall. Nah. Hmm. Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. Hey, we better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm.
This is a shoe puff. Whoa! Uh, let's ride. Come on, let's go. All right. We board soon as we ready, huh? I'll walk her at your service. Shoe puffs. I haven't ridden one in so long. What? You've been on one of these? Well, just once. Ten years ago, with Kamari. Remember? Shoe puff shook. Yuna fall in water. Shoe puff scoop up Yuna with long nose. Yuna jump in three more times for fun. Kimari worried. Whoops. Yuna had fun. Kimari happy. Biran is troublemaker, but Ronzo do not lie. Summoners disappearing, that was not lie. Right. I'll be careful. lesson? Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. Wh why He was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jack never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. Bad idea, yes. Please, we beg of you. Impossible, impossible. What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. Ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what, we just leave him behind? Hey, I didn't say that, just... It is no good. We will have to find another way. We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain Sir. But that'll take days. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, boy. That's our captain. <laughs> where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. Would you like to hear a bit about the wondrous shoe puff? Very well. There are many things we do not know about the shoe puff. For example, what does it eat? It eats nothing. Water it sucks through its schmars somehow supports its considerable size. Some theorize it eats teeny weeny waterborne organisms. Hmm. And that, as they say, is that. Know when you're ready. 
Riding a shoe puff isn't that much fun. How little you know. Some things little boys never grow out of. Right? City. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right, it's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. Nope, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Hmm? I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides which Machina we may use, and which we may not. So what kind of Machina may we not use, then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? More than a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using Machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful Machina. They made weapons so powerful it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But the war did not stop. Wh what happened then? Sin came, and it destroyed the cities and their machina. The war ended, and our reward was Sin. So, Sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Man. That's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the Machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. Ugh. What could that be? Sit down. Sorry! Ah! The Albed!
Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. <sighs> ah, those out bed. Ish, everybody okay? I I'm sorry, we're all okay now. Yuna. Uh. Shoot a full speed ahead. Damn the out bed. What do they want from us? Could it have something to do with Luca? What are they after uniform? Wait, they're mad they lost the tournament. Oh wait, they're mad about Operation Meehan. I wonder, didn't Kamari's clansmen say something about summoners disappearing? Ah, so the out better behind that. Those sand plastic grease monkeys. Hey, Waka. It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. Kimari Vale is guardian on Shubov. Kimari never fail again. Looks like we're stuck here for a while. Might be more out bed. Keep watch, yeah? You're not dead? Uh, uh? So good. What happened? You beat me up, remember? Huh? Oh, that Machina? That was you? Mm-hmm. Oh, that really hurt, you know. You big meanie. <sighs> Wait, but you attacked us. Nuh-uh. It's not exactly what you think. Yo! Friend of yours. 
Uh, and you could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna, Lulu, I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's an Albed. Ah. Ah. Wow, so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, yeah? Praise be to Yevon. So, uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something we need to discuss. Oh, go ahead. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. Right. Sorry, Waka. Huh? What? Sir Oren, I would like Riku to be my guardian. Show me your face. Huh? Look at me. Oh, okay. Open your eyes. As I thought. Um, no good? Are you certain? A hundred percent. So, anyway... Can I? If Yuna wishes it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. right -o. Then I'll just have to be the merriest. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. Ooh, a treasure chest. I wonder what's inside. No, I'm scary when I get mad. I'm gonna use that item I just got on you. You'll be sorry.
of my way. Time to waste. Let's go. been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, your friends are also welcome. Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, I almost forgot. Return to Guado Salam. He's young, but he deserves our respect. Care to hear about the far plane or the pyre flies? Ahem. The far plane's the place where pyre flies, born from ascending, gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the far plane. Quite the phenomenon. How I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They say the pyreflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. It's a great mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the hearts of the living. 
And that little bit borrows the Pyrefly's power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. Care to hear about the Far Plane or the Pyreflies? Ahem. They may be called Pyreflies, but they aren't really flies, you see. They're those lights, you see, whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the Pyreflies doing. In fact, Pyreflies have something to do with Aeons, too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. like the smell of this one, eh? These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, though. No. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Stay close to Yuna. I wonder what smells so nice. Why does he want to see me? Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. Uh, this way, please.
I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin too? Well, there are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkand is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. Are you sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Kimari speak no more. Kimari speak no What could it be? Oh <laughs> Truly it is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader. Lord Seymour has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough trouble. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Xanarkand? Correct. Xanarkand, as it looked 1,000 years ago. Great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkand. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who?
Lady Unaleska! She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable Sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. Your face is beet red. You okay? He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna... No. All summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating Sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Summoner's daughter, Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way! We gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, 
If it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the far plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? About this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. You thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> You'll see once we get there. Aren't you coming? <sighs> I do not belong there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the Pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice. But that's all they are. You're still here. See you later. What the? The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they look so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? 
Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up the game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on the far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about. I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. He is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> what? what? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Hmm, how about mm, Waka? What, me with Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough, not even close. Oh, sorry, my mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? Uh, uh. I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jack. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Uh, uh, Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. But, wait, no one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there, uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm, it's okay. Ah, uh, I think I just figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See, so, so I, told I told him what I thought of him right, right there. What, really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind 
it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. He'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. Oh. Lord Jiska! Oh, Lord Jiska! Uh, he does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. He is Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> Talk later. We leave now. What was that just now? That really Lord Disco? He wasn't sent, so he became a fiend, right? <laughs> I would think that he was sent once, but he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. Go. Meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um... What? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. For a while there, I was a little worried about what was gonna happen, huh? We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But if Eunice said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. Lulu? I've talked enough about that. What? I'm sorry, just forget about it. Jeez, grumpy. 
You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words, not yet. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. I see, but you must keep your feelings inside until the pilgrimage is over. When we leave here, we have to go through the Thunder Plains next, you know? Guado potions good. Buy some before leaving. Summoner not with you? No. She's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour, or Lord Seymour. Oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Oh, Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa! I gotta tell the others! They say Seymour went to Makarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I? What I don't get is, why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. <sighs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. there she's not appearing who is it none of your business sorry <sighs> no it's not your fault why aren't you here been a while sis it's been seven years but you still look the same geez I'm older than you now Oh, I guess it makes sense. Hey, I... I brought you something. Check this out. Uh, uh, there we are. See? She looks just like you. Her name's Yuna. Boy, was I surprised first time I saw her. Uh, of course she's not as good as you. If you were still alive, I bet you'd fight just like her. It's okay. Yuna will beat Sin for you. I know it. So don't you worry. Okay, sis. See ya.
are we supposed to cross that? See the lightning rod towers? The lightning is drawn to them, hopefully. We head north, not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. I think I forgot something in Wado Salam. Nice knowing you. Okay, okay, I'll go. No problem.
no problem. now. What next? Mr. Seymour and Lady Yuna are to be wed. It's such great news. I have to tell everyone. Where'd you hear that? From the Guado. 
They were all very excited. Huh. I'm afraid you heard a little wrong. Yuna's gonna turn him down. Oh, really? I see. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm sure that people would have rejoiced all over Spira.
no problem. one <laughs> stop kidding around yes ma'am <laughs> mm, what's wrong <laughs> <laughs> you're giving me the creeps Never stops. Better to cross quickly. I know, but just for a little while. <laughs> well, what now? <sighs> Pretty please? Just a few minutes. I'm scared of lightning. Let's rest, please. Pretty please? Too young to die. You're mean, cruel. Your moms would be ashamed of you. Are you having fun doing this to me? Fine, we rest. She's worse than the storm. I'm a little tired. Do you have a room available? Ah, Lady Summoner. Yes, just over that way. Thank you. Uh, Yuna? It's not like her. Yuna resting. Go away. <laughs> it's not easy being a guardian to a summoner so young. Yuna looked preoccupied. Was it because of Jiskel? I wonder what's wrong with Yuna. Are you that scared? <laughs> when I was little, a fiend attacked me while I was swimming at the beach. My brother tried to beat it back with a spell. lightning ever since but it can be effective magic is effective against marine fiends my brother said that too you should learn some spells too ah! hmm maybe later nice to see you again welcome to the Rin travel agency Oh. Shh. Mm. How goes your study of our language? That is good to hear. Allow me to present you with this book for your study. I wonder, would that be Sir Orin by any chance? Ah, as I thought. I've been wondering since I saw him at the Meehan High Road branch. Sir Orden! 
I wonder if you remember me. Ten years ago, at the beginning of Lord Braska's calm. Yes, I should thank you. Not at all. I could not leave a wounded man to die. However, I was surprised when I saw you gone the next morning with that wound. An ordinary man would not have been able to walk. I'd rather drop that subject, Rin. As you wish. No point asking, mood she's in. Really, I I just uh, um uh, 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 I I'm sorry I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, 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 hey, wasn't that that just uh, called Guado guy? The sphere is his will. It says, take care of my son. Huh. His son, Seymour? Well, I know one way to take care of him. I'm sorry. Huh? What do you think you're up to? You know, you know was acting funny. Yeah, so, so. yeah. She'll tell us when she's ready, so hold your chocobos to then. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Whatever happens, we're still Yuna's guardians. Then let's just go on with the journey, huh? Let's give Rico a kick in the butt and go, huh? <laughs> we're not through the Thunder Plains yet, so be prepared, all right? She's not going to move unless we do something. If it's okay with Riku, shall we go? not stopping, is it? It's not stopping, is it? Don't tell me you were hoping it would. Ah! Fine, stay here. All right already. But you didn't have to say it like that, you know. You could be more comforting or something. You know, try to cheer me up. You just don't get me at all, do you? Hey, are you listening? <gasps> I'm not scared. I'm not scared, you hear?
Bring it on! now.
Everyone, wait. What's up? I have something to tell you. Here? We're almost out of here. Let's go. I have to say it now. Over there. Somehow, my bad feelings always come true. I've decided to marry. I thought so. But, but why? Why'd you change your mind? For Spira's future and Yevon's unity. I thought it would be the best thing to do. That's not good enough. Wait, is it? Is it because of Lord Jiskel? Hey, that's fear! Show me. I can't. I must speak to Maester Seymour first. I truly am sorry, but this is... It is a personal matter. You're kidding, huh? As you wish. I'm sorry. Just one thing. Uh, I won't quit my pilgrimage. Then it is fine. Wait a minute, Oren. You don't care? I mean, you're not gonna stop her? No, I'm not. As long as she is willing to face sin, all else is her concern. That is a summoner's privilege, as long as she journeys. But that's... Uh, uh... Yuna, just one question. Can't you just talk to Maester Seymour? You got to marry him? Don't know. But I think it is the right thing to do. Okay, I guess. Uni! Quiet! I wish we could help somehow, some way. It's okay. I'll be fine. She says I'm sorry. He says it's fine. She's willing to face sin. She's privileged. I didn't understand. But somehow, I felt like I didn't belong. But if I didn't belong with them, I'd be stuck in Spira, alone. And being alone in that place, well, I didn't want to think about it. Next, we're going to Makalania Temple. Yuna can talk with Seymour there. We Guardians will wait until they're done, and plan our next move. Understood.
You're worried about Yuna. <sighs> of course I'm worried about her. What is she thinking? The simplest answer would be... In exchange for agreeing to marry him, she hopes to negotiate with Seymour. Negotiate what? I wonder. What? All by herself? She's strong, but Seymour is the better negotiator. Well then, why don't we do something about it? Yuna wants it this way. Huh. I just don't get it. Doesn't she trust us? On the contrary. She doesn't want us caught up in whatever it is she's planning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. But that makes me worry even more. She could just tell us. That's the way she is. She's naive, serious to a fault, and doesn't ask for help. Hmm. <laughs> You're probably right. Yuna's easy to read. <laughs> yeah, she is. But hard to guard. Stand by her. Always. Slow pokes! Sorry. It's funny how calm I was. Maybe it was because I'd realized that Yuna wasn't marrying Seymour for love. Not really. It was just her duty, something she had to do before returning to her pilgrimage. 
That's what I kept telling myself anyway. And, well, maybe. I realized that Yuna and I'd never, you know. Yuna, let's go. Thinking isn't solving anything! so shocked.
Everyone, focus on the enemy. seen Donna? Donna? Can't say I have. What's up? We got separated on the way here. Damn it all! I've got to find her! Calm down. But if anything happens to her... Running around in a panic is not going to help. Right now, you have to keep cool and search. What? Guard your emotions, then guard your summoner. You're right. Shall we search? No, I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you, Sir Aaron. What's up? Oh, I just wanted to wish him good luck. As you wish.
A butterfly with rainbow wings will lead the way to secret things. My way! Let's end this. turn now. our time.
No time to waste. Let's go. Welcome! Holiday prices on all items in celebration of Maester Seymour Guado's wedding. Too expensive, you think? How about this? I'll go with these prices for a while. Wait. It is here. Somewhere. What's here? 
Something you should see. But... Sir Oren... It won't take long. This place, it's just water, isn't it? This is what spheres are made of. It absorbs and preserves people's memories. What's that? Fiends are also attracted to these places. It absorbs all spells except its one weakness. This is old. Don't know if you can play it back. 
object left it here ten years ago. <gasps> Play it back. Mm hmm. What are you taking? Well, you said it was going to be a long trip. We'll be seeing a lot of neat things, right? So I thought I'd record it all in this. To show to my wife and kid, you know. This is no pleasure cruise. Hey, Braska. Ain't this supposed to be a grand occasion? Where are the cheering fans, the crying women? This is it. Too many goodbyes. People think twice about leaving. If you say so. Well, it better be a lot more colorful when we come back. A parade for Braska, vanquisher of sin. <laughs> we should go. Day will break soon. Oren, could you stand closer to him? Good. That should do it. What's the matter? Afraid I might bite? Jacked. Braska, you should take one too. It'll make a great gift for little Yuna. I suppose. Lord Braska, we shouldn't be wasting our time like this. What's the hurry, man? Ugh. Let me tell you what the hurry is. Oren. What's the point? He wasn't on some pleasure cruise. I think there's more. Hey, if you're sitting there watching this, it means you're stuck in Spira like me. You might not know when you'll get back home, but you better not be crying. Although I guess I'd understand, but you know what? There's a time when you have to stop crying and move on. You'll be fine. Remember, you're my son. And, well, uh, never mind, I'm no good at these things. Anyways. I believe in you. Be good. Goodbye. He sounded almost serious, but it was too late. He was serious. Jacked had already accepted his fate. His fate? Jacked he. He was always talking about going home to Xanarkand. That's why he took all those pictures, to show them to you when he returned. But as he journeyed with us and came to understand Spira and Braska's resolve, it happened gradually, but Jekt changed. He decided he would join Braska in his fight against Sin. So then, he gave up going home? That was his decision. I guess I understood. My old man, he knew there was no way back home, back to Xanarkand. He wanted to go home, but he knew he couldn't. He couldn't go on until he accepted it. Besides, even if he had found a way back, I don't think he would have left his friends behind before their journey was complete. All right. Let's go, guys. Maybe I had to start accepting my own fate. Wait. Yeah? Jack loved you. Oh, come on, please. He just didn't know how to express it, he said. 
Enough about my old man, okay? I just thought you should know. Yeah, okay. Thanks. You look at this, they always leave me behind. Oh, you want me to scratch you? There, good boy. <laughs> How'd you know what it wanted? Uh, I've always been able to tell how chocobos feel. Maybe I'd make a better chocobo breeder than chocobo knight, huh? Hey, what job do you see me doing? I think so too. Hmm. You know, I might just give it a try. Make sure you're prepared, right? Temple not far. Why stop here? Hmm? Don't forget to smile, remember? Oh, you're right. I'll try and remember. Seriously? A wedding's not supposed to make people feel this bad, huh? Come on, don't say that. Hmm. Uh, I say what I want, ever since I was a kid. Oh, so you're an adult now? You know it. Can we go now? I'm tired of waiting. Yuna's really quiet. Lady Yuna, we've been expecting you. We were surprised you decided to come so soon. Pleasantly surprised, of course. <laughs> Lord Seymour sends his apologies for having left without notice. It's quite all right. I have one question, if I may, sir. Milady? I want to keep journeying. Even if I marry, do you think that Maester Seymour would let me? But of course, my lady. Lord Seymour wishes nothing else, I'm sure. Uh, goodbye. Well, we must follow grotto tradition. I'll have to ask you to wait here a little while longer. I'll send someone to escort you. I... We're all with you. Do as you will. Thank you. Sorry. Hm? That was your line. 
Yuna! <laughs> yes, sir! Oh, no! Albert! Stand back. Thank you. Lady Yuna. Riku! To the Indanvan, a whom we can track. You take on your game, Matt. Oh no! Translation? He's gonna use an anti magic field on us! God bless!
Milady. Riku! Ich, ich fäm dann wieder dran. Er ist der Guardian von Yuna. Wika? Yuna kwa? Was für ein Kind dran? Krak kwa? Und du drag je Moha keg den. I told him I was a guardian. Well, I guess I had to, really. How come you speak out bed? Why? Uh, well, uh... Because I'm out bed. And that was my brother. You knew? Mm. Hmm. Why didn't you tell me? We knew you'd be upset. This is great. I can't believe I've been traveling with an out bed, a heathen. You're wrong. We have nothing against Yevon. But you out bed used to forbid him machina. You know what that means? Sin was born because people use machina. You got proof? Show me proof. It's in Yevon's teaching. Oh, not that you know. That's not good enough. Yevon says this. Yevon says that. Can't you think for yourself? Well, then you tell me. Where did Sin come from, huh? I... I don't know. <laughs> you badmouth Yevin, and that's all you can come up with. But that doesn't mean you should do whatever they say without thinking. Nothing will ever change that way. Nothing has to change. You want Sin to keep coming back? There might be a way to stop it, you know? Sin will be gone once we atone for our past mistakes. When? How? If we keep faith in Yevon's teachings, it will be gone one day. Why do I even bother? Riku. Hmm? Will this move? Yes! We're not using that, are we? Wait. Sir Aron is an Albet too, is he? Come on, Waka. What? I mean, getting angry just because you found out Riku's an Albet. You guys got along fine till now, didn't you? That's different. I mean... Well, I don't claim to know that much about Spira. And I probably know even less about the Albed, but... I know Riku's a good person. She's just Riku. No. Just think of this as an opportunity to learn more about the Albed. Ha! <laughs> Let him go. Give him time to think. I'm sorry. You've done nothing to apologize for. All right, let's ride! You sure you know how to drive this? Better than Kamari does. I hope that you're not too mad at Waka. Hey, not at all! Thank you. Say, what do you think of Riku? Me? She's... fun to be with. <laughs> that all? <sighs> well, I can tell she's not a bad person. Yeah. You know what the problem is? She's just another Albed to Waka. Waka's head is as hard as a rock. I bet it's because of Yevon, or, you know, something like that. Well, there's more to it than that. Mm -hmm. Waka doesn't like the Albed because of his brother, Chapu. Oh, he used a Machina weapon, right? And got killed by Sin. Killed by my old man. Damn you, Jack. What? No, nothing. Hey, can someone like a human become sin ever? I can't say that I know, but why? Just a thought. Mm. Sin is the punishment for and the incarnation of crimes we have committed. Mm. So no one really knows what it is. There's no need to know, so no one asks. You run or you fight. That is really all you can do. There's no sense brooding over it. What, that's all? 
I mean, you don't even wonder? <laughs> you really do come from a world where there is no sin, like you say. The likes of her are not welcome in this hallowed place. She is a guardian. A, an all bed? A guardian? Preposterous. I've decided to be Yuna's guardian now. And that's all I want. And that's all one needs to be a guardian. Very well. I will hold you personally responsible if anything happens. Ah, oh, Lady Yuna's guardians. I haven't thanked you for your help earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to bring Lady Yuna here safely. You have my sincerest gratitude. It, it isn't much, but I want you to have this. Ah, there you are. So, Lady Yuna is getting married. You shouldn't kid around about these things. Yeah, I guess so. You're not happy? Nah, it's complicated. Say, um... 
Do you know where Yuna is? I believe she's gone to the Cloister of Trials with Maester Seymour. may well answer a few questions. What I am about to tell you is the unclouded truth. I swear it on my honor as a Guado. Listen to me very carefully, for I shall tell you the truth about my son Seymour. His mind is closed, even to me, a maester of Yevon. But I can feel flames of darkness burning in his heart. He is using Yevon, the Guado, and even the Summoners. If he is not stopped, he will surely bring destruction and chaos to Spira. I will leave this world soon. Killed by my own son. But I do not fault him. Because I was not wise enough. He has suffered and become twisted. I could not protect him and his mother from the world and its cruelty. I will accept death as punishment for my deeds. But whoever is watching this, I implore you to stop, Seymour. Stop, my son. <laughs> Wonderful. Will Yuna be all right? <laughs> Without us, no. Where you going? You saw it, didn't you? Seymour's bad news. But he's a maester. Uh, fine, stay here if you want. Come on, Waka. Let's at least hear him out. This can't be happening.
so he... Bavel will hear about this. Kimari's up ahead. Go. Right. We will protect Yuna from anyone. Even a maester. <laughs> uh, this can't be happening. If he is truly at fault, it must be done. Be silent. Lady Yuna prays to the faith. Make me! Sphere. You killed him. What of it? Lady Yuna, certainly you knew of these things, did you not? <laughs> well then, why have you come here? I came... <sighs> I came to stop you. I see. You came to punish me, then. What a pity. Ah, of course. Protect the summoner even at the cost of one's life. The Code of the Guardian. How admirable. Well, if you're offering your lives, I will have to take them. Maester Seymour, I trust my guardians with my life, but they are also my friends. I will not stand by and watch them be hurt. I will fight you too! All right! Maester Seymour! So be it. But I will still fight. Your eyes, they burn with resolve. Beautiful. news the first time we met. Oh, my sincerest apologies. 
Seymour! Pain. Come, Anima!
that power that defeated Anima. It will be mine! You would pity me now? here what 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 have I done wait a minute it's not our fault at all Seymour struck first he's the bad guy you did this Yuna send him no stop stay away from him traitors We're finished. Now hold on just a minute. Seymour's the bad guy, right? We'll just explain to everyone what happened. It won't be that easy. Let's get out of here.
give us a chance to explain. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. Meaning? Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a maester. You're not letting us go. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. Wait! Wait! Jiskel's sphere! We can show it to them! You mean this? Hey! The Guado take care of Guado affairs. Away! Run! You've really done it now. Want to buy something just in case? on you next time.
praise be to Yevon. That's what I would have said, if I was a follower of Yevon. We were all there, and in one piece, even if I had a headache from wondering what was in store for us next. We're under the lake ice, aren't we? Look, that's the bottom of the temple. We've fallen a long way. What now, I wonder? What now? Uh, you act first and think later, don't you? I mean, can't you be a little more responsible? We're all depending on you, you know? A lecture. No, no, no. <laughs> Just a suggestion. You should place trust in your friends. But you can't expect someone to protect you all the time. You would do well to remember that. Is that a lecture? It's advice. <sighs> hey, Wonka, would you cheer up? Uh, look, we only did what we had to do. It doesn't matter. Don't you see? I've always walked the path of Yevon. But now, I'm a traitor. How could this happen? Damn! It's not Riku's fault either. Huh? <sighs> you don't know how I feel. Yuna will wake soon. Kimari knows this. No. I'm sure Yuni's okay. She's breathing fine and all. How are Lulu and Waka? Hmm. Well, Waka's in shock. Can't blame him either. And Lulu? Well, she's just the same as always. She's so together. All grown up, I guess. I guess. Well, just give me five or six more years. So, Kamari, how do we get out of here? Hey, don't change the subject. We climb. Kimari too. Only those who try will become. Huh? I think he means you have to work hard if you want to be like Lulu. Oh, I will. Kimari think Riku should stay Riku. Huh? Hey, are you saying I'll never be like Lulu? Kimari! <laughs> How can you laugh at a time like this? <sighs> Yuna? I wanted to confront Maester Seymour about his father, Lord Jisco. I wanted to convince him to turn himself in to Yevon's judgment. In exchange for marriage? Yes, if that's what it took. So, what did Seymour say? He didn't say anything. Now, I, now I don't even think it was worth it. I should have told you what I was going to do. Enough! Dwelling in the past is futile. Hey! You don't have to say it like that! You want to waste time listening to her regrets? You don't have to say it like that. Our immediate concern is Yuna's pilgrimage. Are you willing to go on? Yes. But then, do you think Yevon will allow it? The Faith are the ones that give power to the Summoners. 
not the temples or the teachings. If the temples try to stop us, then we will defy Yevon if we must. Whoa! I can't believe you said that! Sir Oren? Count me out. We have to atone to make up for the sins we have committed. Of course. It's not like I ever liked Maester Seymour, ya? Yeah? No way I'll ever forgive him for killing Lord Jisco. And for trying to do us all in two, you know? But still, the bunch of us going against Yevon? No way! But still, we have transgressed and must face our punishment. We must go to Bevel. We must speak with Maester Micah and explain what has happened. There is no other way, I think. I agree. Uh, Sir Oren? So it is decided. Will you come with us? I am the troublemaker, after all. Yeah, that's right! You can always count on Aaron to complicate things. Yeah! Kamari roars and Aaron runs off, and... I never asked you to follow me. Hey, but that's what friends are for. Right? Yep. Thank you. Huh? Friends, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Man, how can you all act like nothing's wrong? Must got nerves of steel or something. You're too edgy. Listen to the hymn and calm down. Is that coming from the temple? Yes, it is Yevon's gift. It soothes the hearts of the faithful. Is that singing? The Faith. Oh. Huh? The Faith? What? It can sing? Of course it can. Don't be a fool. Say, you feel something weird in the air. Some kind of bad vibes or something. I thought so. I'm sure that Maester Micah will listen to us. <laughs> Friends, huh? First time a non-Albed called me that. This place smells different now. Jamari not know if this good or bad. Jack used to sing this song. <laughs> yeah, over and over. <laughs> but not this good, that's for sure. Another trait you share. Uh, what? You were listening? Jeez, can I get a little privacy? Your singing reminded me of Spira. All oh, right, you're not originally from Xanarkin, are you? You homesick? Maybe. Say, how'd you get to Xanarkin anyway? Sin? Uh-huh. I thought so. That proved it. Sin was the link between Xanarkand and Spira. Which means, if we kill Sin, I'll never be able to go home. Hmm? 
The singing stopped. <gasps> There's something here. The ground. Watch out! It was then I knew that Sin really was my old man. For the first time, I was finally able to believe it. The song you were listening to. What is it this time? Zanarkind. Ah, you homesick too? That's not your world anymore. You're sin now. Hey, I'm older now, you know? I know. You want this to end. I'll find a way, promise. Yeah. <gasps>